Barnabies, how are you today? Today, <sighs> Grandma did it again. <laughs> um, I, I'm on a baby sweater kick, you guys. I, I just, I don't even know. I don't even know. Um, <clears throat> so <laughs> I don't know. I'm thinking I'm going to put some of these up for sale because I don't think that Tia's baby is going to be able to fit in some of these. Um, cause by the time he fits into it, it will be fall, uh, spring and going into summer. And Michelle's baby is going to be probably like seven, is it seven, seven and eight months when winter comes. So yeah. <clears throat> so, <laughs> um, oh, my glasses are in my pocket. <laughs> How about that? Um, yeah. So anyways, um, I, I, story time. <laughs> I had a bit, I had a rough weekend, you guys. Yeah. We've had some family emergency issues that, um, really threw us for a loop. And I had some issues that threw me for a loop. <laughs> After my last video, um, I ended up in the ER. I <laughs> had really bad pains in my stomach. And <clears throat> I thought that it was just gas. You know, I was just like, nah, it's just gas. Problem is, is that I've been suffering with this for months. <sighs> like be long before, um, actually maybe it wasn't, I don't know. Before I changed my diet, uh, <clears throat> maybe, maybe it wasn't, maybe it was after I changed my diet. But anyway, um, so I, I had these stomach pains that were down in my ovary area or where my ovaries used to be. Um, and I was like, what is going on? And it wouldn't happen all the time. It would just kind of come and go. And this last week, uh, I once again decided that I was going to try and go ketovore instead of carnivore. I was going to start introducing some vegetables into my diet to see what would happen, you know, blah, blah, blah. Well, I found out. <laughs> I found out real fast. Because <clears throat> I ended up in the ER. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> so, yeah. Uh, I have diverticulitis and I've known about it for quite some time, you know, years actually. Uh, but I've never had an attack. I had one attack when I found out, but that was it. I haven't had an attack since. So when I took all the carbs and vegetables and fruit and all that out of my diet, and tried to reintroduce some stuff, my body went, nee, nee, nee. no. <laughs> and because um, if you've been around for a while, you remember when we went to the a Dragon Boat Festival in the summertime, I ended up having to be in the hotel uh, for pretty much the whole weekend because I tried to introduce something into my diet and I got really sick. So, yeah, um, <clears throat> apparently I had a diverticulitis flare. And so I have spent all weekend on the couch crocheting on medication. <laughs> so, yeah, I my stomach still hurts. I haven't worked at all, um, <clears throat> which really sucks. Uh, but, yeah, I... I've come to the conclusion that um, I'm carnivore for life, I think, because I had no idea for all those years, all my whole life, 
I've been doing the standard American diet and I've been eating all this stuff and could not figure out for the life of me for many, 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 many years why my stomach was always bloated, why I was always having pains, why I was having problems in the bathroom, why, you know, at one point I thought I had IBS, you know, and uh, yeah. I had no idea about inflammatory vegetables. I didn't know what an oxalate was. I didn't know any of that kind of stuff. So when I started doing this, I found out very quickly what a lot of my problems were. So, but I keep punishing myself by trying to introduce things. So, yeah. <clears throat> so anyways, I'm... I'm a hurting girl right now. So forgive me if I'm wincing or anything like that. Okay, on to the good stuff. So um, I showed you a couple of baby sweaters that I did before, like this one. I love this sweater. <laughs> um, and a couple of people were asking me who was the designer. Um, I have the link down below and I'm going to put it down below again. It's Simona Crochet. Okay. Um, she's got a couple of charts that really help it. Once you figure out what the charts mean and figure out how to work the charts, um, it's, it's awesome. So I'm starting to understand how to work the charts. <sighs> so I'm starting to make little different sizing of stuff. So anyways, this was another of her tutorials. And I'm not sure about this one. Um, I don't like the collar. Uh, it, the collar didn't work out so well. I really like the hoodies better. So, but I did it anyway, and my my thought behind this was kind of like a varsity jacket, you know, the two tone varsity jackets. Okay, so <laughs> isn't that cute? <laughs> so the collar, I don't know. I'm I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan. I think I'm gonna have to tack the collar down a little bit. Um, and then this is supposed to be open a little bit. So, but yeah, so yeah, I don't think I'm going to do sweaters with this collar on them anymore. Uh, I'm going to do different things, but I love the pattern itself. Oh, it's actually, you can see it better here. It's, um, little beans, bean stitch, is it? Uh, so yeah, but it's, I, I think it's adorable. Uh, I just don't like the color. So, and see, it's got little stitches on the cuffs. Um, so the yarn I used for this, this was Bernat Premium in Mushroom. I think. Um, but this yarn, I'm, I'm loving this Heartland yarn, you guys. <sighs> and Michael's is having a 30% off video, uh, video, uh, sale. So I grabbed a few. But this is Lime Brands Heartland. Um, I think I'm going to stock up on this when it's on sale. And I'm going to look at Hirschner's and... Um, Lion Brand. I never buy from Lion Brand because I always find that their prices are are just crazy. I know they just had a five for for ten sale, but of course they didn't have what I wanted. But um, if, to get that into Canada is just stupid. It, Canadian dollars is it's dumb. So um, the colorway is called El Olympic. Uh, it's 100% cotton and there's 230 meters, 151 yards. 
and it's 100% no it's not, is it yes 100% acrylic I love anything heathered any kind of heathered yarn um I just love the way it looks denim looking heathered looking I just love the way it looks so the next sweater I made and I just think this is adorable oh, I decided to do again two-tone look at that isn't that cute it's got the hood this one's definitely bigger it's three to eight months three to six months three to six months I think um and again I did this is this part here is not part of her pattern this I did on my own I explained it um before sorry we got yard guys here uh I explained it on one of my last videos what I did was um but this one I think I did four four rows of front back po front post back post and then I folded it over and I um, slip stitched it underneath to make a tube so that you can put your uh, what do you call these strings in <laughs> but I just love the way it looks it's it's a, this is darker um but it's a really pretty burgundy kind of Christmassy isn't it so oh show that up close so yeah so I really love this <laughs> I I don't know I've never made baby clothes before and I'm I'm really loving the way this looks like I just I'm I'm really getting into it guys <laughs> okay so for this one I used Heartland again and the reason why I did the <laughs> the reason why I did the two tone is because I ran out of the burgundy okay so it's Heartland again and the color is Badlands so yeah that's all I got left of that uh, I knew I wasn't gonna have enough to finish the sweater so I switched and I used the King's Canyon and that's the same ow, the same as I used on this one funny thing is is that I had one of these from before and I went oh good I've got two and I put them together they're totally different colors if you look do you see the difference in color this one's lighter this one's darker uh, this is the one I thought it, I was gonna use but I used this one instead and I'm actually glad I think it looks really cute so be careful when you're picking out your yarn because the lot um, dye lots can really screw you up right so because um, that yeah this one ooh, is done in that dye lot and you can see the difference in the color there's quite a difference same color way different dye lot so just be really careful when you're picking out your yarn make sure that the dye lots are the same and make sure that you grab enough for a project because otherwise you're gonna have your colors are gonna be all over the place so that's all I got to show you you guys um, I'm thinking about making up a bunch of them and putting them on my Etsy uh, for sale tell me what you guys think um, is that something that you guys would be interested in because uh, I know that there is a lot of a lot of people out there a lot of my yarn bees that don't make wearables um, so yeah so I, I'm really interested to hear leave a comment down below I'm interested to hear your thoughts um, of whether or not like any of my wearables if you'd be interested in purchasing um, or if you would be interested in me making 
a baby sweater for you. Uh, if you've got an upcoming, I know a lot of you have upcoming grandbabies coming. Um, so if you don't do wearables, if you don't make baby clothes or whatever, and you're interested, um, let me know. Okay. We can talk. We'll chat. Email me even crochetacanada at gmail.com. Okay. Uh, but yeah, leave a comment down below and I'm, I'm going to start trying to promote myself. You guys <laughs> don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to do the like, <laughs> you know, all that kind of stuff. <laughs> okay, guys, I love you all. Thanks for joining me and I will see you soon. Okay. Bye.